Today's praise and peril devotional thought is Hymnology. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And this devotional is based on John 8 verse 36. An identification card is owned by many Jamaicans. It may be a passport, a voter's ID, a work ID, or even a school ID. And it is often used to verify a person's identity. From birth, Jamaicans are expected to have something even more important, an immunization card. This card shows that we have been vaccinated against some of the deadliest diseases that exist on Earth. Since the onslaught of COVID-19, many scientists and immunologists have worked tirelessly to discover a vaccine or a cure for this fatal disease. So far, four companies have managed to create a vaccine which is being made available to persons who are all over the world. What great news for millions of people who are more susceptible to the virus due to comorbidities and other vulnerabilities. With this vaccine, economies can begin to open up, schools can reopen, and frontline workers can offer their services without fear or prejudice. Worrying hearts can take ease as the world waits for their arrival. What is more comforting, however, is the reality that God has promised in His Word a long time ago that He will protect His people from diseases and pestilences. He says to us in Exodus 15 verse 26, and I quote, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in His sight, give ear to His commandments and keep all His statutes, I will put none of these diseases on you which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you." End quote. What a sweet promise even for us today. Our Heavenly Father will protect us from all diseases and infirmities. Should we become stricken, He will heal us. Should we die, He has the power to raise us up at His second coming. Why don't you claim the promises of God today? For he is our greatest immunologist. This was your Praise in Peril Devotional Thought written by Shana K. Williams from the Claremont SDA Church and I am Kimon Murray.